Messiah will suffer yeah. and rise from the dead. And repentance will be preached in his name. And repentance name. for the forgiveness and of sins will be preached in his name. But Luke, yes. to Luke, Luke, doesn't, name Luke doesn't say that um, Jesus died for your sins. Um, he speaks about repentance in the sense of their wrongdoing. So, um, it's basically about the religious martyrs, martyrs. So you know, like if you see a Christian who dies for his religious conviction, and that in you brings about like remorse, like it increases your faith, and it turns you back to God in remembrance. No, but if you are dead already, then no, no not you, but in terms the of martyrs, the martyr, yeah. the the ramifications so or the result is that others see that and they see their conviction and that in turn like strengthens their faith or yeah. belief in God and so as a result they turn back to God seeking God's forgiveness yeah. so and that's how their sins are forgiven so Jesus in no, Luke is like, like a religious like, martyr who, who dies no, for no. his conviction in God and but, so that brings no. about people turning yeah. back to God. T turning back to faith is fine, but that is not how sins are forgiven. It's not in by the Luke, blood of that's how it happens. Because Luke doesn't speak about the blood sacrifice or the kind of substitutionary atonement that you find in the other Gospels. But forgiveness in Luke comes about through repentance. This is why people are repenting Luke, when Jesus is crucified. Even if the Luke which you're us, there is yeah. enough evidence that Jesus Christ is Lord. The divine nature of Jesus Christ. Luke and the Last Jesus Supper. Jesus the Last Supper is in yeah. Luke. So, so let's just see what Jesus said. Yeah, you have the This YouTube. is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Yeah, so if you look at the footnote, it will tell you that these words are not to be found in some ancient manuscript. But, but they're here in, 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 in other manuscripts. So they but these are later manuscripts, they're not like the most ancient. But so like, you know in the Codex Sinaticanus in the British Library, um, you can check to see whether those verses exist or not. Even Luke which is like the two, oldest New Testament in the world. Just Luke chapter 1 and 2, there are enough you know, evidence Luke, of the divinity of God. Luke says he's writing a more accurate account, mm -hmm. so he's correcting the other Gospels. No, 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 and, and, no, no, and no, 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 this is Jesus, despised and rejected, a man of suffering. Surely he bore our pain and bore, and, and bore our suffering. He was pierced for our transgression. He was wounded for our iniquity. The punishment for the sins was on him. This is all substitutionary atonement. It's not, it's not substitutionary atonement, but it's more to do with injustice being done upon an innocent man. No, no, no. Um, no. So you know Jeremiah in chapter it's eleven. He bore the sin of many. So so Jeremiah quotes Isaiah fifty three in Jeremiah eleven verse nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't to their their yes. so, so Isaiah can apply to many people, not no, not, not just no, Jesus. No, but Luke quotes Isaiah 53. But, but he, he quotes it in the sense of Jesus being a religious martyr, no, no, someone who dies for his religious conviction. No, no, no. Numbered with the transgressors. Jesus never committed a sin. The only reason he was numbered with the transgressors is because he was taking our place. He was crucified between two sinners. Numbered with them. He's not taking someone else's place, but he's wrongfully being killed by the enemy. But, he, very, but yeah, nonetheless, he's willing to die. Very, Luke doesn't very, call him the Lamb of God. That's, no, but, but that's, what he is. that's in John's yeah, Gospel. Yeah, but you know that the, the Lamb of God is not. Uh, the Lamb of God isn't a. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so we can. Yeah. That, yeah. So, so you know, l- l- Lamb of God is not like an animal sacrifice, yeah, right? but the Jews sacrifice the Lamb of God in order to remember um, the Exodus Passover. Yeah. It wasn't a sin offering. Yeah. When when he sees the blood, the firstborn. Yeah. So the blood was shed. So the husband of the firstborn he leaves and dies. That's why the blood is so important. It's to remember the uh, sacra. It's to remember how God rescued them from Egypt, and, and, and so they um, go through the rituals in order to remind themselves of God's blessing. Have you not had that discussion? And, and the Last Supper, you, I can't remember. The Last Supper was when they celebrated the Passover. Yeah. So Jesus said, this is my blood of the covenant. And in Luke, it's, this is my blood of the new covenant. Not in Luke, in Luke's stuff, early important manuscript of Luke's gospel. But, but it's still, he's still talking about his blood. I, Luke speaks about the parable of the lost son. No, no, that, that's um, Like earlier. the obedience. That's yeah. Luke 15. But it's part of Jesus' teaching. In the last supper, Jesus clearly said, this is my blood which is shed for you. No, not in Luke. In Luke there's a doubt with regards to the authenticity. So, well, he's not speaking about blood in Luke's gospel, at least in like the ancient manuscripts of Luke, so but he's speaking Luke's about gospel. repentance. You want to believe only the Luke's gospel? Not, not only in Luke, but we have to kind of uh, reconstruct, like, go back to who was Jesus. Yeah. You know, the, the real Jesus. It's in Matthew, it's in Mark, it's in Luke, it's in John, in every part of the Bible. It's in Genesis 1, 1, so, so, Elohim. Yeah. Elohim. It's a plural. It's a majestic plural. Because Elohim is also used for Moses. Moses is called Elohim. But it doesn't mean uh, more than one person. Um, but you said, <laughs> oh sorry, so back to Luke, um, you, you said Jesus is God in He would be like God to, um, uh, to the Pharaoh. It's not like he is God, right? When it talks about Moses being Elohim, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't say the word like in Hebrew. Well, Elohim Luke, is a word it's, like uh, it's, it's, it's it's a lot of Elohim. Grammatically, it means God, and it's used for angels, for David. Yeah, yeah. David is called yeah. Elohim, or okay. and Solomon. So in Psalms uh, 45 right. verse 6, um, and also the angels are referred to as Elohim in the psalm. No, no, no. No, I Angels are called Elohim in yeah, some. Yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can argue that. So, what is the question here? So, so yeah, uh, 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 grammatically, Elohim is plural, but it can also be a majestic plural as well. Right. It can be used for one person, but it can be a plural of respect, and not just of numbers. Right. Okay, I haven't looked at it, but, but so, go on. In, you know, in the NIV Study Bible, um, so in Genesis chapter 1, um, in the commentary to the NIV Study Bible, they give the example of Elohim being a majestic plural because if you look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 are uh, all English translations including the NIV they translate it as in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth it's never God yeah it's never God okay. it's it always Elohim? yeah it's Elohim in the Hebrew, okay, in the Hebrew. But, yeah. but there in the beginning, Genesis Elohim 1 created. 1 there is a clear di- distinction between God and the spirit of God there's a clear distinction yeah. because so, it says in the beginning the, uh, the spirit of God hovered over the ocean right? yeah uh, of the vast uh, so there you the see earth. like two distinct attributes of God yeah very so, distinct so yeah so when he spoke that was the word of God yes which is Jesus is the word Jesus of God Jesus himself so yeah. there is spirit yeah. of body I mean the spirit of Jesus and the Father in the Genesis you, you know the, the pronoun so grammatically are neuter like, 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 like the, the pronouns like for the spirit um, is not necessarily uh, actually it could be feminine um, possibly but, um, but but can I ask what is the point here for, for this the, the, the spirit is basically not a person like in the Old Testament and in the synoptic gospels the first three so, it, it's grammatically has, it's neutral does Allah have a spirit who is very distinct from himself do you mean like the like an angel 
no, or like a servant. No, the spirit of God, who you mentioned, about Adam. Adam was breathed over Adam. Yeah. Is he very? Is he from God? Proceeding from God, but very distinct from God himself. It, it, it's not a uh, distinct from God, but it's from God. So, so God breathed no. His spirit into Adam. Yeah. Why does and it Adam say God breathed himself? Consciousness. Or God just breathed. Why it says God breathed His spirit? So this could be the spirit of life. Like Adam comes into it, this conscious. The main thing is, I'm not trying. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Thing. What is exactly your point? Can I get that so I can respond? Because I'm the way I work, my brain yeah. works in a different way. When I know what the main issue is, then I can give you a little bit more detailed answer. Because I'm not quite there. Right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's just two topics. Um, one topic is to do with the uh, whether Jesus died. Paid for our sins, substitutionary atonement. Say, say that again. Whether uh, Jesus died, died for us. Died for us. Okay. Um, as a substitution. As a substitution. Yes. And the second one is is Jesus God or the, the Trinity. But why are we talking about the Spirit Elohim? Then? Where did that come from? No, I I just call out that in, even in Genesis one one contradicts um, uh, the attribute of Allah in the Quran. Right? Where uh, they don't believe that God has a spirit. Yeah, of course God. they don't. They yeah. don't believe that God is But uh, Nas mentioned that um, Quran also says that there is the spirit of God which was breathed into Adam. Ah. Okay. No, so yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. See this discussion I was having with Paras uh, just last night. There are a lot of us too. Where are you uh, you know, spirit of God. I say you don't believe in the God of God. If God is not a spirit, then how can he give spirit? If you have a spirit, I have a spirit. And then in the Quran it says, and this is a very confusing statement of Quran, when it says Jesus is a spirit from God. That doesn't make any, like, if, to me it doesn't make any sense. Because what I used to remember back in the old days, they used to say Isa Ruallah, which means he's the spirit of God, which is what we believe. Right? Because Mary was impregnated when Holy Spirit overshadowed her. So that means it's the power of God that overshadowed her and made her pregnant. And of course, this doesn't mean anything physical. God doesn't need all that, but he, so he's born through the Holy Spirit. That means he was in, endowed with the Holy Spirit yes. as he was born, because yes. he was born from the power of Holy Spirit. So that Holy Spirit, when you ask the Muslims, they say he is a spirit from God. We say he's born from that Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit has to be God. Oh, yeah. It has it's, to be God. It's no yes. more God yes. than, like, say, a house of God or uh, a church of God. Sorry. It, the, the, the building Those, isn't God. Look, but room, it's an expression. Okay. Yeah. I, this, let me ask me, room yeah. is like yeah. you have a room. Mm. Room is your spirit. Yeah. And where that comes from is very important. So, because your life is in your room, right? Mm. If your room leaves your body, mm -hmm. you're dead. Yeah. So that means that God has given you life, therefore he has given you spirit. Yeah. That spirit is from, from God. Yeah. Right? Well, but I'm Quran not God. makes a distinction. <laughs> that does not make you God, does yeah. it? No, it does not. Yeah. It gives you life because God is the giver of life, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but why does it distinct Jesus in this situation and says he is a spirit from God? Because of his birth. Are you a spirit from God? Are you a spirit from God? Am yes. I? No, we're not a spirit from God. We are. No, no. We have a spirit. That's from God. Okay, that's from yeah, God. Yeah. So are you saying that Quran is just... Then why would Quran... Okay, this is very confusing. Mm. At the least. It's very controversial. But at the least, it's very confusing. Because if you, if you, all of us have a spirit from God, then why does it distinct Jesus and says he, he is a spirit from God? He, it never says... For any because else, of his it never birth, says, hold on, just a special. It never says Adam is a spirit from God. It never says Moses is a spirit from God, or Solomon, or anybody else. It or doesn't. Muhammad. Doesn't even. Muhammad is not a spirit from God. No, Jesus is a spirit from God. Now there's a problem here. It doesn't even say that strictly speaking uh, for Jesus as well in the Quran. 
Sorry? Uh, in the Quran, strictly speaking, it doesn't say that for Jesus as well. Like in those words that Jesus... What is the Quran? Okay, let's look at it. So it's let's in, look at it. It's in so chapter 4. It, yeah. very, very clear because it's, 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 in more, it's more in reference to Mary, that God casts cast his spirit onto Mary. No, no, no. I'm talking about where it says... Isa is a spirit from God. Yeah. So, if you're looking for those words, yeah, let, let's, let's um, look at what the words are. Maybe I can. Maybe I'm mis. Uh, no it. worries. From spirit of God, but Quran says the Islam says oh, God is not a spirit. No, the Isa comes from yeah. the spirit. Of God. Isa comes from the spirit of God. He says Isa comes. So from he, the spirit he communicated of God. to Mary. Is, huh? He communicated to Mary and a spirit from him. Hold on. So Just a second, I'll come back to you. It's second. been addressed to Mary, yeah. uh, Maryam. Yeah. Um, his word, which he communicated to Maryam uh -huh. and a spirit from him, from God. Uh -huh. So from him, uh, from believe God. therefore in Allah and his apostles. Okay. So he is a spirit from God. Is that right? Um, yeah, J yeah, Jesus is a, yes, a, spirit, a spirit from, from God. Yeah. That's what I said. Which he gave to Mary. Which he gave to? M Mary, the mother of Jesus. So okay. his words which he communicated to Miriam uh -huh. and a spirit from him. Okay, these words that he communicated to Miriam mm -hmm. is a separate sentence and, well, and, and joins a spirit them. <laughs> from him. Yeah. Look, it's saying that the word that he gave to Mary, which was who? Jibreel. He gave the word to Mary, right? And a spirit from him. Yeah. So there is a conjunction. Okay. So they're joined together. All right. So the, are you saying that Mary sentence. received the spirit of God? Yeah. She received the spirit of God. Yeah. Okay. That's God very breathed life into her. This is a her. new one. And it's very interesting. Because it's kind of like now going towards where the Bible is saying that the spirit of God came over Mary. Okay. So that means if the spirit of God comes over Mary, mm -hmm. that means that... Uh, he has the Holy Spirit, right? Sorry? That it's means the, the Holy Spirit, right? Yeah. Okay. So all the Spirit, Holy Spirit is what I'm, I'm talking about. If the Holy Spirit is from God, it is, not, it is not the same Spirit that you and I have. It is the same. No. Look, the thing is this. Look, I would believe you that if Mary, God gives if, life. Okay, let, let's be very, very clear about this. If Mary was impregnated by a man, and this verse came because we are all impregnated, but our mothers were impregnated by a man, right? So we have a spirit from God. But in this situation, it's explaining very clearly that this woman, Mary, she's got a word from God, which is Jibrael, who comes and gives her the word and gives her the Holy Spirit. Okay? So now this woman, she is getting impregnated by this whole situation, by the Holy Spirit. So that Holy Spirit is not the one that's in you or in me when you are born and I'm born and he's born in you. That is what it's, he's it's trying to do. No, no, please, listen, Naz, I, I respect you a lot. And I'm, it, it's, it's very clear, God. it is very clear now, since you brought this up, I've just thought about this. If you are saying... So there's a hadith um, about the 40 days. Um, let me just find um, when he attains Mutron, which is the age of 40. So not this particular hadith. But there's a hadith like when the, the child is in the womb's mother, uh, I think 40, 40 days passes yeah. and then the, sp the spirit is breathed yeah, yeah, into yeah, okay, it that, or that something to this effect. Yeah, okay, so what's Do you the know? Point? I don't know, but I get the point. So what, 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 why are um, you bringing so, that up? So all of us are created. Yeah. Like by from a, a spirit from God okay. that okay, gives fine. life. Very okay, different fine. from Jesus. No, no. But Jesus is explain it to him. I got it. You were right. Yeah. I agree with you. In the normal course of things, yeah. that would be the case. So, okay. like, like your birth is miraculous, so is her and mine. All, all of our births are miraculous. Well, but, I don't but, know what you mean by that. That's a little confusing. So, so life, life itself is a miracle. Yes, no, to, to, well, order, it's a natural God order. But by, by it's a miracle. Well, uh, it is it's a miracle. A okay, order. but uh, no, no, this is a deflection. He's trying to. Uh, you know, no, no. But, but no, Jesus' no. birth is also miraculous as well. No, no, no. Whether it's you, whether it's supernatural. It, we have natural yes. births. Jesus has which supernatural births, which are also extraordinary as well. 
Well, if you, if you okay, think you, about if it. If you want to describe it that way, I don't have to say anything about it. Okay, I'll go with you. The, the problem is this. Your Quran is saying, you got, the angel came and gave her the word and gave her the spirit, spirit of God. It or from God. Well, it doesn't, doesn't even say. say. No, I'm not going to make that mistake right now. I'm trying to make another point. Okay, so now... At least in that verse. Yeah. But, yeah. So now the problem is that we're having is that the Quran is saying that Jibril gave her the word and a spirit from God. Now that spirit from God in the Bible, it says that the spirit overcame Mary and she was pregnant, right? So if, the, if she got a spirit from God and that spirit made her pregnant, that spirit from God is not the same spirit you and I have. You and I have exactly. Because you and I were made by our parents. Exactly. And this spirit is making that woman pregnant. If it was the same... Well, were you not made by God? Sugar. Were you not made by God? No, I was made by my parents. But, but, no, no. but God in used your parents okay. in to that's make right. you. But did God use it's just Jesus' another way. parents to make him? God used Mary to make Jesus. What about yeah. the Father? We believe Jesus had no earthly father. But earthly so, father, he did not have any earthly You and I were talking yesterday, <laughs> the same topic. Listen to what he's saying. In the Quran, it says that Jibreel gave the word to Mary. And he gave word to Mary. Don't say Jibreel, because it is not Jibreel. That's what their belief is. No, no, it's no, it's not their belief. I know it's so, not so, so, early, uh, early sources do not. Uh, Surah Nisa. Um, what chapter? Uh, Nisa, uh, chapter 4, verse 171. Nisa? Yeah, uh, uh, Ayah 171. 171. Yeah. All right. Read it for me, will you? Okay, so my friend, the thing is this. That spirit that made Mary pregnant, because Jesus does not have a father, the cause of his he was only a messenger. That, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. But Jesus was only a messenger. Yeah. The, no, you're talking about he's talking about the birth. The birth, yeah, the birth that, itself. That, that also mentions the birth as well. So the birth but Jesus, very briefly. Yeah, very the, briefly. The spirit of God has to be the Holy the spirit spirit. spirit. Spirit from him means it's the Holy Spirit. It's not the same spirit that you and I have. Because we get our spirit. Not that when our mother is made like, uh, we are, impregnated, yeah, we, are we don't holy. get our spirit then. Like, like, yes. Life itself is sacred. Sorry? Like, life is holy, like yes, it's God. sacred. Well, of course it's uh, sacred. Uh, so it's, it's holy, so even process, the spirit We're is, talking so. about the process of our birth. Yeah. We have so a natural birth. Jesus' process you is different, I, I agree. We did not have a supernatural birth. We have a natural birth. Okay? Yeah, okay. Jesus, on the other hand, has a supernatural birth. Are mm -hmm. you claiming that God is made from spirit? What no, is no, God no, made from? Wait a second, let me ask you. Ask him. Listen, for us, we'll have that discussion first. You have to respect now. I respect you. But Naz and I are having this We will have this discussion too. Okay? So. Yes, no, I agree. but God, read the word. Read the word. Read the word of Jesus' word when they say. Uh, yeah, this is it. Yeah. God, God sent the, no, there was no Gabriel here. God sent the word of the Lord to to, the, to Mary. Uh huh. And in the, uh, the Messiah, the Son of Mary, is the message of God and His word that He sent it to Mary, and He's a spirit from Him. Okay. But not spirit in Him. I have a flower. I give you the flower from me. That doesn't mean the flower is in me. Okay. No, 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 no. And then he said, wait, and he said, the spirit, he sent it to her. Uh -huh. So it's something that can be sent, yeah. it cannot be from uh, God. Okay, fine. Inside God. All right. Listen, why now, why that you've read something, it. I sent it to you. How can us, this us, thing can us, be inside us, God? Us, it can. You gotta stop I'm talking. sending my word to you. It can. Depends yeah. on the context and depends on what we're talking about. Yeah, but God doesn't but have a mouth like us and he talked words. What we were talking about is who created Jesus. If God has a mouth and he talked, then... He talk, then he okay, but us, are you going to be quiet now, please? <laughs> I respect you too much. I don't want to yell at you. So please don't let me yell at you. Okay, me and I, we're having a good discussion. So come here, good us. Come here. What we were talking about. What you just said, who created the world? Okay, I'm just going to continue. Again, what he just read tells us the spirit from God. When the spirit is giving life through Mary, it becomes a supernatural event. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus is love. Because that's a supernatural event. There is how many participants in this event? There's Mary, and there's the spirit of God or whatever you want to call it, the spirit from God. That spirit from God, 
has to be part of God. It cannot be outside of God because then that spirit becomes as powerful as God because that spirit is giving life to Mary. It's, it's because, better no, no, to listen. say from God rather than part uh, of God. Listen, that spirit that God doesn't Mary, have parts. If it is not as powerful or the same as God, it cannot give life. It cannot give life. Only God can okay? give life. Because that, that means there is God and then there is the spirit that gives life. So it means there is two have the power to give life. One is, one is God and one is the spirit. No, not right now. You spoke enough. I'm going to give you a chance, but to let that, talk. It talks, it talks about Jesus giving life to clay birds with the permission of Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this but spirit this, does yeah. not give it the permission give, of Allah. Give the permission. That's right. Now, this spirit is from Allah. And, and that means that this spirit has the power the of Allah. That's the only way this can be resolved, right? Nas, what do you think? How would you resolve this issue? If this spirit is as powerful as Allah, Allah gives life, right? The, 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 this spirit isn't a person. It doesn't say that this spirit is a person, but it, it, it's something that God gives to or communicates with Mary. And Mary, uh, Mary becomes impregnated through the spirit, right? Yeah, through, through the um, um, God breathes life. It's like the story of Adam. So, so God breathed into Adam's nostrils, and Adam comes alive. True. So, so Mary receives the spirit, and she conceives. There's a difference here. There's a difference here. God breathed into the nostrils of Adam, and he became alive, right? Mm -hmm. so, okay. Does it say that God sent his spirit to Adam? It doesn't say that. If you're looking for those words, it doesn't say that. There's, but it was that's from the God. Distinction. I'm trying to make the distinction. The, the, the breath of life is from God. It's not from somewhere else. Sorry? Breath, breath of life is from God. Of course. No, no, it's no. not from somewhere Let, else. Let's not make so, a red herring. So it's Come not on. incorrect. No, we all agree that. Yeah. So we're not going to go into an, something that we all agree on. Mm -hmm. The point that I'm trying to make is this. So the Adam was made yeah. without a woman. Yeah? Yeah. Right? Okay. So, and God breathed, uh, breathed, breathed life, life into, into him, Adam. Right? Yeah. Was Jesus made from clay? Or from dust? Um, origi originally, like he originates from yeah. dust or clay. Because he's Adam, a human, according to the Quran. Adam was created from clay. Was there any other human that was created from clay uh, besides Adam? We all are. No. Like, we all come from Adam. Uh, one, one, uh, so when he breathed into Adam, he breathed spirit into Adam. Yeah. Okay. But when he breathed into Mary, yeah, he yeah. breathed his spirit into Mary. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That, so that's the difference. That is the difference. I was, just yeah, I was going there. So that, just the breath into Adam. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Here he breathed his spirit into men. Exactly. So the no, but they, but he sent. No, I'm trying to go with their narrative. I know. I'm, I'm not discussing it from my perspective. Okay, my perspective is a little different. Who's that? No, no, it's just so people can hear you speak. Oh, okay. So your voice. So um, I'm not trying to have this discussion from a Christian point of view. Okay. All I'm trying to do is discuss it from their point of view, from the Quranic point of view. In the Quranic verse that we read, it says the Spirit, He sent the Word and the Spirit. Now when He sends it, who's sending, who's doing the sending? Allah. Whose Spirit is He sending? His own. How? Because that Spirit has the power to give life to Jesus through Mary. That, do you agree that? That Spirit that Allah has sent has the power to give life to Jesus through Mary. That, that spirit isn't a person. But it's what the is that spirit? It's the breath of life. It, it's the same breath of life that we read about in the book of Genesis. Oh, okay. But the thing is, if that breath of life is just the same as you and I have, then it negates the power of God as he, she was impregnated not by the same means you and I were impregnated because that spirit that we have is from a natural process. This spirit, however, is impregnating Mary through the power of God. Yeah. Okay. That means that this spirit is not the same as your and my spirit. Because you and my spirit did not come to us through the command of God from outside of our mothers getting pregnant. Our mothers didn't get pregnant through the power of this spirit. Our mothers got pregnant through physical means with our, fa with our fathers, right? 
so, 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 so let's say like the microphones about Sony microphones. Well, I got this microphone through person A, and you got this microphone from person B. Okay. So it's still the same microphone, even though the channel was different, mm. but it's still the same microphone. So the breath of life came to us. Uh, through different channels, like Jesus received the breath of life through a different channel from how we receive the breath. Okay, but but it's still the same breath but of the, life from God. No, it isn't. That's how there, I would there's a very big difference here because you and I receive the breath of life through our mother and father, our mother and father through the natural process. Mm -hmm. There was nothing supernatural about your breath or mine. Mm -hmm. Right? Whereas in this situation, the whole story is trying to say, look, this birth is not, it's, it's supernatural, it's not something that's from the devil, because that's why I'm saying it's a spirit from God, because anybody could say, well, this some, seems some kind of well, hocus pocus. The devil can't give life anyway. The, the devil cannot give well, life or yeah, right. But he's trying to be very but, clear. Know, Isaac's say, birth is also supernatural as well. Is it? Because um, his mother had it when she was barren, when she couldn't have any children. So his birth is also supernatural. So was Sarah, right? She was too old to get married, right? Yeah. I mean, to get pregnant, right? Yeah. Okay. But eventually right. she did have now, a child. That's a very good thing. Actually, I'm glad you brought that and up. And also Elizabeth is another example okay, as well. Let's talk about Sarah for a moment. Okay. This is a very good thing that you brought this up. Okay. In that situation, when Sarah could not get pregnant, why didn't God send a spirit to get her pregnant? Why did he use yeah. Abraham to get her pregnant? Like, like you said, the breath of life comes through, through the rest of us, through both mother and father. But for Jesus, um, it was a special case. It was through his mo mother. My but friend. both are supernatural births. I, Isaac and also Jesus. Isaac was born through natural means. However, that not, word was not quite natural because if his mother couldn't conceive, like she was of old age. And how did he she conceive? Uh, supernaturally. Uh, are you saying there was a spirit that came and overcame her? For for to give life. No, no, no. To the child. Yeah. Did she have intercourse with Abraham to have Isaac? They had intimate relations. Okay, yeah. so she did have intimate uh, intimacy with her yeah. husband. So the pregnancy was a result of the intimacy so, so or not? I think Abraham was 99 when he had... Right. When they were both way over at the age of getting married. So, I mean, so they, have, they couldn't uh, have any make, children, make children yeah. for the age. So, so this it's is a super, miraculous. supernatural. So this is miraculous, yeah. right? However, there's no spirit involved here from God to make her break, neither in your uh, strength or in mine. It's still by God's power. No, no, no. But by no, God's hold on, hold on. Power. It's not. I will disagree with you. It's not by God's power. There is a physical act that takes place between her and her husband. But they couldn't be able to do it without God's that God permission. That God blesses yeah. without so sending His God's Spirit power. down to it, her. It doesn't say he didn't send his spirit. Uh, so. It doesn't say he did either. So, so it could apply. No, no, no. What it does say is that she and her husband had a child. Yeah. Right? Even though she was uh, over the age of childhood. Mm -hmm. That's right. So there is no way to argue this point in the same way as Jesus' birth because Jesus or Isaac or any of these other people, they all were married through the natural process of, I mean, sorry, not married, like, uh, uh, but Isaac's impregnated birth through wasn't the natural, a natural birth. birth. Uh, uh, Isaac's birth would not have been a natural birth. Why not? Because uh, his parents couldn't conceive or have children, so it would have been something supernatural. Okay, that still, okay, I, I agree with you there, I agree with you there, but that still does not involve the Spirit of God. I, I need to double check.